Hey, it's two o'clock in the morning and this morning I'm going to show you how to wire up a push button starter. Okay, so what's the goal of this whole ordeal? A lot of guys use, uh, build these little projects and maybe don't have a, an actual uh, ignition and just want to wire up a push button starter. And so, obviously, your goal here is to be able to run a battery. And all you're trying to do is get this starter to crank over. If you see, I'm touching this lead on the uh, from the positive battery cable to the starter solenoid wire on the solenoid. It's a small wire right here. Okay, so how do we wire that up on a button? Several different ways. All right, so let's start with That is supposedly a starter, if you're not an artist, okay? So, you have your big wire going to your battery. Okay, and this is battery positive. Uh, battery negative, I can't draw a B, that just goes to a ground of some sort. Okay. The wire we're worried about is the small wire. Now, if you're working with a GM, that wire will be purple. It is always purple. Now, I don't care what color you use, but I'm telling you, it's purple. Now... Let's see. You could run a wire from here to a switch. Let's see. If I draw a switch, and it can be a push button. And then that one would run down to a battery. Okay, it doesn't have to be a push button. You can see, this is just a switch that goes back to center. It has three poles on it. If you're going to use something like this, your uh, 12 volts will go to the center post. And then one of these two, whichever one you got hooked up, will go to your Solenoid, right? Right. Okay, here's the other option. You can run all this through a relay. And why would you want to run it through a relay? It's that way you can run a 20 gauge wire through your fuse and switch. And say you had this in the car. You can get by with running a way smaller wire in the car. You don't have all the heat and amperage and going through your wiring. And it's not pulling quite the load through it. So you can actually run a, uh, like a, uh, I don't know, like a 12 gauge wire from your battery positive to 30 of your relay. And then the switch go to 86. 85 is your ground. 87 would be the wire going, it would be the purple wire going to your solenoid on your starter. Now this allows you to run a relay much closer to your starter. You can use less cable, less wiring, uh, or less bigger wiring going to the starter. 
and it would be wise if you had a fuse in here also going to 30. But I would suggest putting a fuse on both. So here's a, it's a relay. It's a good example of a relay because it is a relay. Bought this on Amazon. I think a pack of 10 of them for, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. Maybe cheaper than that. Okay, it has five wires in it. So along with 87, there is also an 87A. I don't know that I've ever used 87A. Uh, sometimes you'll see it in a wiring diagram, but it's very rare. And in this case, you won't need it for a push button starter. You, if you even use the relay, which obviously you don't have to. So this relay has wiring long enough to where I could have ran from the battery to the solenoid and to a switch and mounted this thing, say right here if I wanted, or on the inside of this, somewhere close to the battery and the starter, and all my wiring would have been here. I could have done everything with this. Okay. However, on this particular engine, I have it ran. I tried to recycle and reuse some wiring that was on this engine. I have it ran to the fuse panel, the fuse box, and the relays that was on the engine to begin with. And they're just smaller relays. This will all get uh, covered with a, a better type of sleeving. And I don't have it all finished yet. But as you can see, my switch And I reused a rocker switch. And when I get everything wired in, this is a, um, a fused wire. And I'm just going from here over to my rocker switch to the center. And then from here to uh, the relay and then from the relay with a much bigger wire ends up being this uh, purple wire to the solenoid okay so it's that simple no big deal several different ways to wire up a push button starter now now that we've got through that mess let me tell you something a neat experiment you can try with these relays uh, a lot of people don't know about this, but if you walk over to your kitchen, stand next to your refrigerator. On the right side of your refrigerator, uh, or as you're looking at it, it'll be the left side of your refrigerator. Okay, so stand to the, to the left side of your refrigerator if you're looking at the door. All right and stick this relay up to the side of the refrigerator. Now, do you hear your refrigerator running? Well, then you better go catch it. See what I did there? It was a good joke. So if you found this video helpful, comment on it, like it, dislike it. But uh, also check us out on uh, Facebook. Uh, divine speed on the on, on the Facebook and uh, you'll see pictures of the other cars and other videos that are posted weekly and shoot us a message if you have questions anything that's interesting or if you have any ideas for videos anything that uh, will help us we will try to help you